G'day guys, Luke here. Welcome back to another video. Now, today's video, guys, is a huge Raptor Room update for July 2021. As always, guys, we're starting off with Chris, who is my Blackheader Python. He's currently in his height at the moment, he doesn't want to come out. He was out and about before, but he's decided to go back in his house. Uh, his setup, guys, hasn't changed since last month. Uh, so these guys, so most of my animals have been moved around this month, so there's been some changes. If you guys want to see a more uh, full rundown of all these setups, there will be either a card at the top right hand corner or a link in the description to the March Raptor Room video I think it was where I did a full rundown of the setups but of course since then a lot of animals have changed around and a lot of stuff has happened but I'll show you guys how the animals are going and how I've got them all set up and that's about it anyway enough rambling next to a lot of animals so down here we've got Chapman Orchid that's had a slight upgrade uh, I've got a new platform in there now both are doing pretty well I think both of them are going to shed, so they're both in this hide. Uh, there they are. Don't want to disturb them too much. Because the other day they had a big feed of an extra large rat. So they're been doing fun, which is great. But yeah, we move on. So over here we've got Molly, who is my female jungle carpet python. She's doing very well. She's sitting under the heat. Looking beautiful as always. Her setup, guys, hasn't changed since last month. One of my prior. Up here, guys, if you do watch my Raptor Room videos regularly, you would have remembered last month we had Ray in here. He's since now been upgraded. And we've put Charles in here now. So, Charles is my Albina Darwin Carpet Python. There he is. He's doing very well. So, he's got a heat pad where he's sitting now. He's got his, I made this platform for him so he can sit up here. Just so to get a branch for him. So, he's got something else to climb, climb up on. Some fake plants. A couple of other hides and a water bowl, substrate, and just a normal light on top of him to light up the enclosure. We have now moved Emma over here now, so Emma, he still hasn't changed much, but something has been changed in here, or we did add someone in here. So now, so we've got Emma here, he's the boy, and we've got him a girlfriend, so you probably see her little head there. So that's Azula, so Emma and Azula now. Now I have been seeing these two locked up, locked up means mating. So hopefully we might get some eggs. That'll be pretty exciting. Don't want to tell them too much. Oh, sorry, Emma. So ever since I put Azul in with Emma, he's calmed right down. Uh, everyone knows him as a very body snake. Ever since I put Azul in, he's calmed right down. Anyway, down here, we've moved Salt and Pepper. We want to bang up the geckos. So Salt, she's in here now. Oh, she's always been in this enclosure. There she is. She's doing pretty well, guys, smashing food. She's been hunting fine. I was a bit worried for a little bit because she didn't eat for a couple of days, but that's normal for her. Then Pepper, she, he's doing quite fine as well. It's going to winter now, so these guys are starting to slow down a tiny bit. But yeah, both are doing very well. Both share a heat pad, around 30 degrees in the middle, or sorry, on these sides of the enclosures. And here now I've got Diablo. Who is my brown tree snake? He's up in there. Might disturb him too much. His setup, guys, hasn't changed either. Just a couple of highs, a heat pad, paper towel, a platform that I built for him, and a vine for him as well, plus a water bowl. But he's doing pretty well as well. Last section of the river, raptor room, guys. So you see there's been quite a few changes along here. Uh, Bam Bam, he's my male pigby beer dragon. He's doing quite well. His setup, guys, hasn't changed at all. He's been a bit of a sleepy head, so I got him out this morning to get him some heat. Uh, he needs to have some food, mate. You're getting a bit skinny for my liking. He's still healthy, but I like to have a bit more meat on him. Because I like to have my animals a bit more chunky, or a little bit on the chunky side, but not too fat. Down here, we've got Crystal now. She's the female pygmy beer dragon. Did try to house these two together. Don't get along at all. She had some bracket this morning, which is great. She's a bit of a chunky monkey, but she's great. Her set of guys hasn't changed. Uh, next to her now we've got Pedro, who's the Pink Tongue Skink. So Pedro, so Charles used to be in here. Now it's Pedro. He's in his log there. Hey buddy. Still getting him used to being handled. He's he likes his substrate a bit more damp, I noticed. I'm doing trying to keep that nice and damp for him. Uh he, so that's dog food in his water bottle, sorry, in his food bowl, sorry. He does get leafy greens, but I noticed he likes his dog food. So today is dog food day for him. Uh, so he's got a hip pad underneath that hide. Couple of sticks for him to climb on in his UV. 
down below them guys we've got super Saiyan game we my two female blonde spotted pythons i'm not breeding these two with emma because these two are basically my babies i don't want anything happening to them so superstar is this one who's taking up two hides and graham's in here had a gorgeous she's in there she's currently off food at the moment uh, she goes off food for about what was it april and usually she starts eating again until around September, October. So, but she's fine, she's healthy. Super star over there, she just eats and eats and eats. That's why she's a bit more chunkier than Graham. She eats all year round. Over here now, guys, we've got Charcoal and Nicole, who are my two spider tail geckos. So that's uh, Nicole there, and her boyfriend Charcoal is there. Both are doing well, both eating food, both, well, not mating, I haven't seen any mating. Uh, she hasn't changed in appearance, like fatness wise. But yep. Both are doing well. If they breed, they breed. If they don't, doesn't matter. Just had a motorcycle go past. That's fun. Anyway, in here, guys, we've got Billy, who is my little female Eastern Blue Tongue Skink. Here she is. She's doing quite fine. Gaining size, eating like a champ, enjoying life, which is great. When I first got her, I wasn't too sure if she would make it, but she's made it, and she's getting nice and chunky. Alright, up here now we have Akko, who is the diva of the Raptor Room. Aren't you sweeter? Yes, you are the diva. So Akko, we call her diva just because she is such a diva. Uh, her sub guys hasn't changed anyway. She's doing well. She's still the wardrobe I know and love. Uh, we did lose Rex about a month ago, or about a month and a half ago I think now. Uh, she's kind of changed a little bit since then because her and Rex used to interact. And I think she's kind of going to that state where she's missing her mate. But she still has me and the others to keep company. But she's still a good girl. Anyway, up here now we've got Ray, who is my Rosenberg mother. There he is. The reason why he looks a bit more plump is because he had two pinky mice for breakfast. So he's been very active, wearing himself out a bit. You know, going back on your rock to heat up. He sees that's up there. He loves his rock. He loves to sit on there, just flatten out. He do his do his thing. So he's got a couple of hides in here, a couple of rocks, a bit of wood in here to climb up on, a log hide. I do tong feed him, but if I'm in a bit of a rush, I usually dump superworms in that bowl. If I'm running over and have his superworms. He's got his vine, water bowl, he's got his heat in UV, so he's not he's very healthy, very happy, and doing normal monitor things. See, he's a bit of a crazy nut. Takes after me. Anyway, onto the last rack, which is up here. So this is my skin crack, has three blue tongues and a shingle back. So up here we've got Bluey, who is one of three some blue tongue skinks. He's currently going through a shed cycle. He's doing pretty well. So he's got like a big mess in his cage once he's done shedding, which I've got to clean up. Down here we have his brother, Bo. Now these two used to be housed together for a while, until the one day they started fighting and then I had to separate them. So ever since, but the thing is, ever since I separated them, um, they've been doing much better. So that's great on my end. Now Blaney, she, now Blaine is our female lone land black spruce tongue. I think she's in this hide now. I saw her out before. Yep, there she is. She's still a bit of a shy blue tongue. She likes to try to burrow her way into uh, into the substrate. So I like it. I like to make it a bit more thicker for them. So she can have a bit of a burrow or trying to submerge yourself in substrate. Righty yeah, not last animal of the reptile room. So in here we've got Monty, who is my male shingleback skink. Hey buddy, you've covered your face in sand. What have you been doing, hey? So he's doing quite well, eating like a champ. As it's getting into winter now, guys, they, most of my reptiles are starting to slow down, so they might lose a bit of fat or they're not be as active as they usually are. But anyway, still love them, still doing their things. But yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys like how the room looks now. And you guys hopefully get some ideas on how to keep your reptiles. So like I said before, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you all in another video.